babies, babies, I made pancakes. Babies, babies, I made pancakes. I made pancakes. I'm gonna eat them if you don't. Babies, babies, I made pancakes. Cakes, 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 pancakes, pancakes, cakes, 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 pancakes, pancakes. If you're gonna eat them, get up now. Otherwise, I'll eat them for you. This is my mom's pancake. It's so good. And do you look at that pie? It's so yummy. Um, nom, 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 nom. Now here's the million dollar question. Will you eat that, Mally? No. Why it's not? Because I don't like it. He likes plain. So this pancake was made by or with high fiber flour. And Malachi. And Malachi. <laughs> Seeds. That. Dried fruits and nuts. Caramel sauce. Trader Joe's pumpkin cheesecake. Ta-da! And tea. There she is. She's going to go play football. This Monday morning. He wanted some water. I told him to go get some water. By yourself. There she is. Second one from the left. And her coach covering her. And she's putting and putting. My baby is watching my snaps. Because he's on there, private, and just with mama and dada. Because he wants to see what we do. Here is my lunch. It is not Pinterest worthy, but it's very good for you. I have three organic eggs, free range eggs, and this is a mixture of grains. It's one of those foods that stay in your pantry until you're ready to eat, um, so long shelf life. But there's no MSG or any of that bad stuff, which if you are an avid food label reader like I am, you will actually figure out what makes you sick, what gives you migraines, what gives you headaches, and that stuff. It's the stuff that you stay away from, but here you will just see it's all just real food and it just um, sealed out air, I guess, so it doesn't go bad. Um, oh yeah, so by the way, anything that I share as far as my food and things, I have never been paid by anyone um, if they'd like to pay me to talk about the food that I already eat or will eat because it has only good stuff in it, by all means, pay me. But other than that, um, I just share because I share. I will disclose that I have been given free food for me to try out or test and things like that but there's never any like oh you have to like tell the world about it I don't do that my big thing about sharing food with you guys is for you guys to find alternatives to what you already eat better ways better ingredients um, yeah you can't pay me to eat bad food I can't always cook from scratch I wish I can but I live a very busy life and so I you know I use convenience foods and I'm just so glad that these companies now exist or now coming out because definitely before when I figured out what was making me sick from my convenience foods, I was looking for other things that didn't have those ingredients. It was literally impossible to find convenience foods, snacks, packaged foods, or anything of that sort that would not make me sick. One of the things that I ate so much of growing up was Top Ramen and for those who know or don't know, that has a lot of MSG. MSG. And almost a decade ago, I was like, why am I so sick? Like, why am I getting these really bad headaches? I guess eventually my body could no longer take MSG. And I went on the search to find noodles or top ramen that wouldn't have MSG or maltodextrin in it. And I could not find it. It just didn't exist. Once upon a time, I stumbled across this health food store called Jimbo's. And I saw this. All kinds of flavors. And I rushed to it turned around the package to see what was in their soup packets and look no MSG no maltodextrin just good I dare you to go to a regular store and look at all of the top ramens or top ramen like things over there and find one without MSG because for years I could not find it and now it's here now it is a dollar something as opposed to top ramen that's only 10 cents but this is so much better for my brain